Hey, so I'm just going to walk you through a real quick an example of how to use the different mass channels with setting a threshold in the colloq module. So for this example, I'm just going to use this pre my region of interest. I'm going to look for colocalization between the red channel and the blue channel within this red surface ROI. So what I need to do is make a mask binary channel of everything that's inside this red surface, and that is going to be marking my region of interest. I'm not going to use it for anything else besides the ROI. Um, it's for the colloquialization module, just for that different ROI um, box in colloq. And so what I'm going to do is set the voxel intensity outside the surface to zero, and then set the voxel intensity inside the surface to an easily selectable number. I like to use 100. But there's you know really no wrong answer there for what to do and i'll hit okay i can at this point create another mask channel that uh, maintains my channel intensities within the surface if i want to i don't have to because i'm only going to be looking for co-localization within this region but i can do that too so if i want to make a mass channel and use that as my input as either channel A or channel B in colloq, I would do that, but leave this box unchecked to set the voxel intensity inside the surface. So as long as this is set or unchecked, the intensity values for whatever channel is up here in the channel selection, it will be maintained. But everything outside of the surface is going to be set to zero. So hit OK. And so now I have two binary um, just so I can keep track of those two different ones. And then we'll go into the colloq module. And what I'm going to do here is select my region of interest. So I'm going to define a region of interest, tell the program that is a mask data set, go down here and select that mask binary channel. And you can see here I have peaks at zero pixel values and then peaks at the 100. And so I just click here to select everything that is a 100 pixel value, or I can type in a value here too if I prefer to do that, just so I'm selecting everything that's not a zero pixel value. And if I zoom in here, I can also shut off all of my other channels. And so this region of interest with this mass binary channel, it's telling the program that the only thing I'm going to be looking for co-localization at is in these dark areas. Everything that has the diagonal line through it, Amaris is not going to look for any co-localization there. So then next, I can use my mask channel that I created and my blue channel that's there and look for co-localization in these regions. So I can go up to the channel A and select my mask channel that's not a binary, and then the DNA channel, my second channel, and then I can select calculate thresholds, say yes. And then it does calculate it, no problem there, it works successfully. I can then build my colloq channel if I want to and then get those actual real results because we don't want to use any estimated statistics here. We have to build the colloq channel. But then to show you that the mass binary channel does not work, I'll select this button here and then select calculate threshold and I get that same error message you got before when you use that mass binary channel. And that's because there's no actual variability in the signal. So the program doesn't know how to detect a threshold because there isn't any variability and you need that. Um, so, so yeah, so using a regular mass channel that has variability in the signal will work successfully, but using a binary channel won't. Um, just let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.